If your Echo speaker is displaying an orange ring, it can mean one of three things. Firstly, it can indicate that your Echo device is in setup mode and is awaiting a Wi-Fi connection. Secondly, it can tell you that your speaker is facing issues connecting to your Wi-Fi network. And thirdly, it can indicate your speaker has connected to the Wi-Fi network, however, the network doesn't have an active internet connection. Stay tuned to find out how to fix these issues and in doing so, remove the orange ring. Hey, this is Daniel from Smart Home Perfected. In today's video, we'll be discussing the NX orange ring and ways to fix it if you're having difficulties. If any of these tips help, it'd be great if you give the video a like below and subscribe if you'd like to get notified of more smart home content. It helps us grow our channel and reach more people. To help out other viewers, by all means, leave a comment below and let us know what worked for you and what didn't. I've had to set up and reconfigure Wi-Fi on my various Echo speakers multiple times through the years, so I'm well used to seeing the orange ring. If you've already set up your Alexa device, you can skip the first scenario using the chapters below. All right, let's jump in. So the first time you'll see the orange light is when setting up your speaker. The initial setup process for your Echo device is pretty straightforward. So firstly, as you can see, I've plugged my speaker into a power outlet using the cable provided. It is important that you use the cable provided, but as it has the right voltage and amperage needed for the device to operate properly. So now that the device is powered on, you can see that the orange light has started to spin. Um, so I open up my Alexa app, which I downloaded from the Google Play Store, or you can also download it from the iOS App Store. It is recommended to stay close to the speaker during setup, because it, particularly if you're going to use Bluetooth, it needs to be um, your phone needs to be quite close to the speaker. So at this point, you might get a pop-up to say an Echo device is ready for setup. Again, that's based off Bluetooth and the nearby devices setting on Android being enabled. If not, then you'll need to follow these steps. So you go to Devices. You click on the plus icon and you click add device. From here, it says, which device would you like to set up? So we are setting up an Amazon Echo. And then this is an Echo Dot, third gen. These instructions work for the fifth gen, fourth gen, uh, etc. So allow location, it's best to enable this setting. So is your Echo plugged in? Yes, it is. And the orange light is spinning. Searching for device and then it's able to recognize the device. So from here, it searches for um, new Wi-Fi networks, or if you've already a previously saved Wi-Fi network, it searches for that, and it won't need the credentials because it'll already have them uh, plugged into the system. So as you can see, it's connected to a previously saved Wi-Fi network. And that's it, it's connected. The second scenario is if the Wi-Fi network is down or there have been changes to the Wi-Fi network. If someone plugged out your router or it is frozen, then Alexa won't be able to connect to it. My first port of call is to check if the router is powered on and if there are indicator lights showing. If so, I then stand beside the router with my smartphone, disable mobile data, connect it to the Wi-Fi network, and see if I can access something in a web browser. If I can't access the internet while testing on my smartphone, I usually just power cycle the router by plugging it out, waiting 60 seconds, and then plugging it back in again. It usually takes a few minutes for the router to come back online. At that point, you can test and see as the orange light disappeared. If there have been changes to your Wi-Fi network, such as a new network name, a new password, or even a new router, then the connection to Alexa will break. To fix this, you need to set up Wi-Fi again on the Echo speaker. So for this, you go to the Alexa app, click Devices at the bottom, then click Echo and Alexa at the top, which then loads the list of Echo speakers and displays that you have. You click into the Echo speaker that's causing you issues, and then you click Wi-Fi under Status, or you can go into settings at the top right um, and click Wi-Fi network. Then this loads the settings where you can see Wi-Fi network and then you can click the change button. From here then you need to press the action button on your Echo device for five to 15 seconds, depending on which generation of Echo you have, um, at which point the orange light will then spin. So then you can click yes. It will then search for the Wi-Fi network. Because you're changing the Wi-Fi network, it's not going to try to uh, assign itself to the pre-existing Wi-Fi network, so you'll be able to select from the list. You'll then be able to enter the password, and then that should be it. You should be connected now to the new network. If you see the orange light once in a while, which then goes away by itself, it's possible your Echo speaker has a weak Wi-Fi signal and is at the limit of its range. Or there may be too many devices on your network causing congestion. In these scenarios, you may need to consider upgrading your Wi-Fi to something like mesh Wi-Fi, or look to decrease the number of devices that you have on the network. The third scenario is where your Wi-Fi network is unchanged and stable, however, there's an issue with your internet service provider. Like any internet service, there can be scheduled downtime, such as for network maintenance, and unscheduled downtime, such as for storms or hurricanes. In these situations, your Wi-Fi router won't be able to communicate with the outside world, causing the orange ring. The same can happen in data centers. Alexa is run by Amazon Web Services, and every now and again, AWS can hit a snag, and there can be unscheduled downtime. 
When there's an issue with the internet service provider, I usually restart the router, which is essentially plug it out, wait a minute and plug it back in. And if that works, the network is back online and the orange light disappears. If that doesn't solve the problem, I usually check online to see if other people are having the same problem. Downdetector.com is a good resource. Uh, Twitter is a good resource, Google News as well. Um, you'll be able to search and see if other people are having the same issue at the same time. And then if they are, and it is the ISP that's at fault, it's usually just a matter of waiting until they come back online. You can always contact them to try to get an ETA of when it'll be back. So there you have it. Hopefully these instructions solve the spinning orange light on your Echo speaker and help you get back online. The yellow light can sometimes be mistaken for the orange light. So if none of that worked, then check out our yellow light video where we talk through the troubleshooting steps for that. As mentioned earlier, if any of these tips helped, it'd be great if you gave the video a like below and subscribe for more Alexa videos. And to help out other viewers, leave a comment below. Let us know what worked for you and what didn't. That's great. See you in the next video.